Hey, this is Logan W1997, back at it again. Today we're going to be doing something a little different than usual. We're not going to be exploring any abandoned locations, but instead we're going to be talking about a very, very famous, probably the most famous haunted house in the world, or at least this country. And that is the Amityville Horror House. So, I'm sure a lot of you horror fanatics out there, people who will be listening to this video, knows about the Amityville Horror. So I don't think that I have to get into what all happened there. I mean, we all know that a family was murdered, which was the DeFeos. Six members were murdered by their own sibling, 22-year-old Ronald DeFeo, in 1974 on November 13th in Amityville, New York. Now, I'll, I'll say some of the basics. Ronnie murdered his mom, dad, two sisters, and two brothers. What they believe is he killed them around 3 o'clock in the morning and he used a 35 Marlin rifle, and at the time, this is one of the loudest guns in the world, but nobody in the house woke up, and they did the autopsies. There was no drugs or alcohol in anybody's system, and none of the neighbors going from two to three blocks away heard anything in the middle of the night. So it's just kind of strange. And then, of course, later, the Lutzes move in. You guys know this. They stay for 28 days. They flee, leaving everything they own behind, claiming there are supernatural events, uh, they went on and had a book done, then a movie was released, and now there's so many books and movies that have nothing to do with the real story that are releasing. But anyways, so we're going to be talking about one thing in specific to do with Amityville Horror, and I'm sure if any of you guys are into this story and know anything about it, you guys would know that of course famous uh, paranormal researchers have been involved with this house like Hans Holzer and Ed and Lorraine Warren. Well, today we're going to be talking about Hans Holzer's involvement in the Amityville Horror. And uh, we're going to be talking about his January 13th, 1977 investigation of the house. So anyways, let's jump right into that. On January 13th, 1977, Hans Holzer would investigate 112 Ocean Avenue. Now, originally, Hans Holzer was contacted by Laura DiDio in 1976 to investigate 112 Ocean Avenue, but at the time, Hans Holzer was out of the country and involved with another investigation. So instead, they went with Ed and Lorraine Warren. However, in January of 1977, Ronald DeFeo's attorney, William Weber, wanted his own investigation of the home. Yes, that's right. He wanted his own investigation. The guy who claimed that this was all made up and that he helped make the story up over a couple of bottles of wine. But now he's wanting his own investigation of the house to see if he can get some sort of answers. So, Hans Holzer brings along a psychic medium that he used named Ethel Johnson Myers. Ethel Johnson Myers and Hans Holzer and Laura DiDio from Channel 5 and William Weber enter the Amityville Horror House to do a walkthrough and reading. Ethel Johnson Myers immediately right when she got out of the car said there's an Indian chief around here. She immediately picked up on an Indian and when she walked into the house, she walked in and said there's an Indian burial ground on this property and that there's a pissed off Indian chief that is mad because somebody that lived on the property was digging at one time and found a skeleton remains. And the kid played with the skull as a toy. And this really angered the Indian spirits, supposedly. Now, again... In 1976 or 7, I believe, when Laura DiDio was doing her research on the case, she did find proof and documents at the Amityville Historic Society 
that there was in fact an Indian burial ground where the house was built on Long Island. But fast forward to today and the documents no longer exist. So a lot of people were wondering, where did they go? Documents don't just walk away. Who's covering this up and why? Well, anyways, years later, newspapers have emerged and it is the truth. There was an Indian burial ground on Ocean Avenue, Amityville, and we will show the picture to this for this video and let you guys look at the newspaper. But it is real. It did really happen. What Ethel Johnson Myers picked up on was in fact real. And for years, skeptics on the case would use this against them because the documents did not exist. But again, they have reemerged now. And I will post this for this video. And uh, this is pretty big for this case because, you know, this just kind of validates what the medium was saying. And she believed that this Indian chief or these Indian spirits that were mad caused Ronnie DeFeo to kill his family. Let me know what you guys think. Until then, stay safe and we'll see you.